Putin fears his plane can be shot down even in Russia. He flies everywhere in a company of fighters. Russian President Vladimir Putin has started flying with fighter jets even around Russian regions. Previously, military aircraft accompanied him only on foreign trips, writes the agency. Vladimir Putin flew to Yakutsk on June the 18th. Residents of the city published several videos and photos on social media with a fighter jet accompanying his plane. As military analyst Jan Matveyev told the agency, the footage shows an Su-30SM. The agency analyzed the feeds of state agencies and telegram channels and found no reports since the beginning of the war about fighter jets accompanying the Russian president's plane during visits to Russian cities. In January 2024, before Putin's visit to Kaliningrad, Dmitry Peskov was asked whether the president would be accompanied by fighter jets, but he avoided answering this question. The media regularly writes about fighter jets accompanying Putin during international missions. This was the case during his flights to Belarus in December 2022, in November 2023 and in May 2024. Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan in May. In December 2023, the Russian Defense Ministry even published footage of Su-35 fighter jets that accompanied Putin's plane during a flight to the UAE. Peskov then explained that this was done for security reasons. The region is restless, and if the UAE and Saudi Arabia are stable, safe countries, then the surrounding area, the adjacent region, is certainly full of danger and unpredictability. Earlier, the media reported that Vladimir Putin began wearing a bulletproof vest at public events. At the same time, the Kremlin officially states that there is no need to increase security measures for the president. In particular, Press Secretary Dmitry Peskov, commenting on the assassination attempt on Slovak Prime Minister Robert Fico, said in mid-May that security measures remain at the regular level. At least one person was killed and around 5,000 people were evacuated as two wildfires spread across 20,000 acres in southern parts of New Mexico on Tuesday. New Mexico Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham declared a state of emergency that covers Ruidoso and neighboring tribal lands and deployed National Guard troops to the area. Addressing a press conference on Tuesday, the official stated that evacuation orders are in effect for three counties in the state, Mescalero, Otero, and Lincoln. Grisham estimated there have been 500 structures lost so far, although the exact number of homes and buildings damaged amid the blaze remains unknown. Some 13 wildfire hotshot crews are battling the fires, in addition to other fire teams, while 17 federal and state agencies and 800 personnel are working on the ground to help people amid evacuation efforts. Of the 5,000 people evacuated, 500 individuals are staying in 10 shelters and service centers. A top-level fire management team took over on Wednesday. The cause of fire hasn't been determined, but the Southwest Coordination Center listed them as human-caused. According to the National Interagency Fire Center, wildfires have scorched more than 8,495 square kilometers nationwide this year, a figure higher than the 10-year averages. About 20 wildfires currently burning are considered large and uncontained, including blazes in California and Washington state. Evacuate. There's four different fucking fires. There's also another one over there. Um, we've never had an entire evacuation in a town before, but now we're going in an entire evacuation. What the fuck?